one of the most common questions I get or I see online is a comparison between Segment and Google Tag Manager. Now there's some overlap between the products, especially if you're just deploying pixels, but let's take a look at how they work. Now the high level, Google Tag Manager is really great, especially if you're playing the Google world. That means you use Google Analytics, Google AdWords, double click, anything Google related uh, on the marketing stack that you tend to see. Now, if we want to dive deep, dive deep here into the Google Tag Manager interface, we have the same concept of tags, triggers, and variables, and I'm not gonna go into depth what Google Tag Manager is. But when you look at the tags in Google Tag Manager, right, and we tend to choose a tag type, we can see all the different Google types of products, right? So, you know, a Google Analytics tag for, let's say, an event, you know, we get some predefined fields here. So it's very easy to send an event to Google Analytics. It's very easy to load Google Analytics or anything AdWords related and so on. And of course, we can load anything into the page because we have a custom HTML tag that, you know, we can load any JavaScript step and so on. And the other tools, you know, we have some, the other tools are more or less pixels, right? The pixel for Crazy Egg, the pixel for Ad, ad Roll, and uh, just different tools, right? Now, if you want to set up a mixed panel to Google Tag Manager, you could technically do it. You have to do a custom HTML tag, and then here you have to go in and you know write the actual snippet for mixed panel, mixed panel track, and so on. This is an event, and so on, right? Now, if you want to do mixed panel and intercom at the same time, you basically have to write the same code twice. You have to write the mixed panel code and the intercom code and so on. So you'd be doing that. So in that case, Google Tag Manager is just simply helping you organize and load the tags, but it's not really helping you become more efficient with the tags or converting the data for you or things like that. For that, we go segment, right? In segment, you know, we have course source and destinations, which we will dive deeper in the course. But basically we can take a source like JavaScript, the same thing, right? Take data in through the JavaScript API into segment. So we'd be writing segment specific code. So it'd be an analytics.track um, event function. And then we can send it to mixed panel, intercom and so on. And when we do that, it gets converted here, right? So it gets converted from the segment format we send it in into the mixed panel format and the intercom format and so on and so on. So this conversion is where segment really thrives. So if you have event driven tools like mixed panel, like intercom and so on, and you want one implementation that can then allow you to, you know, output to 10, 20, 30 different tools, segment will do that for you because of the conversion. If you if you're just looking to deploy pixels, like Facebook pixels and so on, Google Tag Manager might be easier, especially because it's uh, a little easier to work with and so on. And if you live in the Google world, the Google Tag Manager will likely be easier. What you also tend to see is you can actually load both. So you can actually do, you can load Google Tag Manager through segment, which is just the same as you load in the, you know, the Google Tag Manager snippet into your website, or you can load segment through Google Tag Manager. So there's there's not really a big issue in doing either or. Ethan sees some companies, you know, give Google Tag Manager for some people who want to manage all the Google tags while still using it for the event-driven tools like Mixpanel and Amplitude and so on.